is what controls the world. This is where power comes from. It's not a conspiracy theory. Every American knows this. So how is it that everybody knows that, yet we're still in the position that we're in? Since the dawn of our government, many intelligent men and philosophers and ideologues have always warned. A likely worst case scenario is the day that the private sector teams up with an oversized tax funded government to work against the will of the people. That day has come. Centuries ago, men and women alike were willing to leave behind their homes, their families, and even their lives to fight for what they believed in. But today, the men of America are barely willing to give up their favorite cable TV show to fight for what they believe in. The problem is that most Americans who talk to you about their freedoms are more willing to give up their freedoms than they are their comforts. And on top of that, we have the illusion that we're still in charge. They keep us bickering over things like gun control and voting rights. The premise is that if they're after it, it must be important. It must mean something to them. As long as we have our guns, we're still in charge. I'm not sure that's the case anymore. If you were going to attack America, you wouldn't do it with bullets and bombs. Instead of attacking the physical, you would attack the mind. It's happening in the palm of your hand right now. And as long as Americans are willing to give up their freedoms before their comforts, we are not in charge. The change necessary to save this country and the people of it is not going to happen on the Senate floor or in the Oval Office. It's going to happen at your schools, at your bars, at your dining room table. Until that change happens, all of this is in vain. Stay hard, patriots.